in the field of zoology, the Quran says in Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 38, it is he who has made every animal that walks on the earth and every bird that flies in the air to live in communities like the human beings. Today, science agrees that even the animals and the birds live in communities like the human beings, which was not known earlier. The Quran speaks about the lifestyle of the bee in Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 68 and 69. The Quran speaks about the lifestyle of the spider in Surah An Kabud, chapter number 29, verse number 41. The Quran speaks about the lifestyle and the communication of ants in Surah Namal, chapter number 27, verse number 17 and 18. In the field of medicine, the Quran says in Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse 68 and 69, that from the belly of the bee, we give you a drink of varying colors in which there is healing for mankind. It is recently we have come to know that the honey that we have is obtained from the belly of the bee. And today science agrees that there are mild antiseptic properties in honey and it is even a healing for mankind. In the field of physiology, the Quran describes the blood circulation and the production of milk in a nutshell in Surah Nahal, chapter 16, verse number 66. 600 years after the Quran was revealed, Ibn Nafis, he made it known to the world about the production of milk and blood circulation. 400 years later, that is 1000 years after the Quran was revealed, William Harvey, he made it famous to the Western world. We hear about William Harvey, but we hardly hear about the name of Ibn Nafis, who 400 years before William Harvey spoke about the blood circulation and the production of milk.